Welcome to the TubeBuddy Express podcast, brought to you by TubeBuddy, the number one tool to make your YouTube life easy. Each week, we discuss how you can utilize TubeBuddy to enhance your YouTube experience and make your life as a creator easier. And now, here's your host, Dusty Porter. Hello, and welcome to episode six of the TubeBuddy Express podcast. I am so excited to be here today, and I'm so excited that you are too. If you're a new listener, welcome to the show. If you're a veteran of this show, even though it's uh, in its infancy, I really appreciate you guys stopping by. My name is Dusty. I am the host of the show. We also do a sister or brother show, whatever you want to call it, called YouTube Creators Hub, where I interview YouTube creators each and every week, and I release the show on Wednesday, and I talk with them about their journey on YouTube. But this show is a very actionable 8 to 12 minute podcast each and every week released on Fridays where I talk about tips and tricks you can use to utilize TubeBuddy, obviously TubeBuddy Express in the title, you can utilize TubeBuddy to basically enhance your YouTube experience and then we also talk about one actionable tip that can help you improve your YouTube channel each and every week. So that if that interests you, go and subscribe to both of those podcasts over on iTunes, we're there, we're over at Stitcher Radio, we're on Google Play. We're all over the internet with these audio podcasts, and we're just so glad you guys have decided to join us. So in today's episode, we're going to be talking about two different things. The first thing I want to mention about the TubeBuddy plugin today is going to be the addition of the quick links or the ability to basically click on the TubeBuddy icon in the upper right-hand corner of my YouTube player or platform on my web browser and have all of the links that I use on a daily basis almost every single hour that I'm working on my YouTube content, it's right there all in one place. So if you don't know, when you're on the YouTube platform natively without TubeBuddy installed, a lot of times navigating to go to your videos, to the comments section, to different areas of YouTube that you're going to utilize a whole bunch as a creator, it can become tedious and you can waste a lot of time navigating from one to the other. But with TubeBuddy, you have these things that are called quick links. These, my friends, are a godsend. I love the quick links within TubeBuddy. You click on the little icon in the upper right-hand corner to drop down all of the features within TubeBuddy, and right there under quick links, you have your YouTube dashboard, you have your video manager, you have playlist, you have live streaming, you have the most recent comments, messages, subscribers, analytics. It's all right there in one list. And the ability to have all of this at my fingertips with just one click is amazing. And the quick links basically make my YouTube life so much easier. So definitely check out the quick links. If you haven't already, install TubeBuddy and check that out. It will cut hours, literally hours, out of your weekly workflow if you do YouTube daily or if you upload a few times a week. So definitely check that out. So the topic we're going to be breaking down today in this podcast is going to be the importance of how to capture email addresses from your YouTube viewers and subscribers. So you may be asking yourself, why is it important that I get these people's email addresses? Isn't that kind of creepy? No, it's not. It's important, especially if you want to move forward with your YouTube business and go from a hobby to a business. But even if it's just a hobby, you want another way to connect with these people. So the first reason for this is because you don't control the platform. YouTube, Google in general, owns YouTube, which means they're the platform. You don't own that. They can do whatever they want to do with that platform, with your content at any time. So you need to have another way to communicate with your audience, with your viewers outside of YouTube. In case something ever does, God forbid, happen to the platform that is YouTube, you want another way to do that. Now, people ask me all the time, well, what's the best way to get people's email addresses? Well, let me go ahead and tell you. The easiest way to capture these email addresses is to go ahead and utilize what YouTube already is providing you. So utilize the description of your video. So have a link, you know, directing them to open up a new window. You never want to send them off of YouTube. You never want to send them out of the YouTube platform. You want to keep them in your YouTube channel ecosystem, okay? I like to call it a tree, and you're going to hear me use this analogy a lot. There's a bunch of branches on a tree. You want them to stay on your tree. It doesn't matter what branch they're on, but you want to keep them on your tree. That's, you know, the longer they stay on your tree, the more likely they are to subscribe, the more likely they are to give you their email address, and then eventually the more likely they are to purchase one of your products if that is the route you're taking. So utilize your description to go ahead and tell them to go to a web 
page on your site that will allow them to provide you with your email address. Uh, and then also utilize the YouTube cards feature. There's a fantastic feature that allows the card to come up on top of the video. It's going to be clickable on desktop and mobile now, thank God. And they can click on that link and it will go take them to a little uh, tease page or squeeze page, whatever you want to call it, where they can go and type in their email address and stay connected with you. And you can then update them in the future. Now, now that you've utilized the description, the card section, all of that, we need to discuss how can you utilize these email addresses once they've been given to you. So once you've started formulating your email list from your YouTube channel, you then need to utilize it to the best of your ability. Now, the one tip I would give you is do not spam. Don't you know, every single day, send this list an email, you're going to, you know, that email list is going to diminish very quickly because people just don't like spam, but it's a great way to, uh, utilize email addresses for announcements. So if you've got some new changes coming to the channel or to the schedule, you can announce stuff with an email. If you've got products that you want to sell like eBooks or, uh, you know, featured products or featured videos or collaborations that are coming up, it's a great way to provide valuable information to your viewers that you cannot provide via videos. So I'm trying to show you how you can get viewers to give you their email addresses so you can grow your email list. I cannot emphasize how important it is for you to start building an email list now, because eventually in a few years, when you're deciding to be you know, a little more serious about this whole YouTube thing, you're going to realize, man, I should have started capturing emails a long time ago. Trust me with my business. I wish I would have started capturing email addresses a long time ago. So remember, it is so important to do that. So let's recap a little bit. If you're wanting to capture your viewer, your subscriber email list, you need to have a great looking page that they can go to and let them know why you want their email address. Don't just send them to a page and it be like, hey, give me your email address. No, why would you give an email address to, to a person if that's what it is? What I normally would like to do is offer a freebie, right? I actually interviewed a guy on the YouTube Creators Hub podcast who has a guitar tutorial channel basically to get his viewers and subscribers email address, what he does is he provides them with a free chord book or a free tutorial book with like five or six songs with him doing it like a featured or premium content that he's giving away for free. So if you can say, Hey, if you give me your email address, you're going to get this in return. And then not only do you include the freebie, but you also list out in bullets what these people are going to be getting from becoming part of your email list. You know, tell them, Hey, each week, I'm going to give you behind the scenes, look on what I'm doing on YouTube. Each week, I'm going to give you these special tips just for you that are not going to be in my videos. So let them know the value of, you know, becoming one of your uh, email list people that they're going to be on there and what they're going to be receiving with that. So make sure you have some type of like premium item that you can provide to these people as they sign up. That's going to be an incentive to sign up. So it's extremely important. Uh, if you want to grow that list, give your viewers, your subscribers an incentive to do that. Do you have a premium product? If they sign up for your email list, give them a discount on that product. There's so many different ways you can twist it to capture those email addresses. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for the topic for this week. I do want to remind you to go on over to iTunes and leave us a review. Let us know what you think about the show, what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong. I also want to let you know if you haven't already, go on over and download the TubeBuddy plugin. It's going to make your YouTube life so much easier. Also, email me, dusty at youtubecreatorshub.com and let me know some topics that you're interested in uh, as far as helping you with your YouTube channel, your YouTube content, and I will take those questions, I will cultivate them all together, and I will make shows about those topics. So if, if there's something you're wondering about how to do, how to improve on your YouTube channel, so if you've got a YouTube-centric question, email me, let me know what that is, and I will be more than happy to cover that on the show, and I'll also give you a shout out on the show as well. Uh, and then in closing, I want to let you guys know that if you're looking for a show that can help you improve your YouTube career, your YouTube journey, and grow your channel, this is the show for you. So subscribe to this show as well as our other show, YouTube Creators Up, where we interview fantastic people all over the YouTube world. We do that each and every Wednesday. This show comes out each and every Friday. So expect consistency from us every Wednesday, every Friday, you get your YouTube content. Interviews on Wednesday, tips and strategies on Fridays. Cannot beat it. So guys, I am going to go ahead and close out the show, but until next time, I want to give you a little word of encouragement. You can make a difference. Your voice matters. Do not be afraid to put yourself out there. Until next time, see you later.